Well, this is an update about Leo Pets that I was not expecting to make any time soon. Applications for new accounts on Leo Pets will open on August 1st. This is not an open registration. Leo Pets is a closed community, so you have to apply for the opportunity to set up an account. So if you want to get into Leo Pets, it's not like you can just fill out your information and then you're in the website. You have to apply for it. They read through the applications and then they decide if they want you or not. All previous Leo Pets accounts were completely purged. If you had a Leo Pets account up until, you know, July, it's no longer there. All of your pets were removed. All of your private data was scrubbed. Everything that was on Leo Pets is no longer there. If you had an account, it's gone. Leo Pets is a fan-made version of Neo Pets that uses the art from before 2007, which was the huge site revamp and customization on Neo Pets. It not only has those original illustrations, but also user submitted illustrations for pet colors, but also new pets entirely. The Leo Pets ran alongside Neo Pets for many years. It was a closed community, very exclusive. I never had access to it. I covered it not too long ago on this channel. There is a video called What is Leo Pets? And that gives you all the background information to get through this video if you are unfamiliar. So my previous video covered that Panda had passed ownership to a new team and they decided that they were not going to move forward with Leo Pets. In the beginning of July, the original owner, Panda, posted a notice looking for a new Leo Pets owner. The requirements for the new owner was that the new owner must know PHP, the art and community driven assets could not accrue profit, the new owner must purchase the code for Leo Pets from Panda, and that all user information would be scrubbed before it was given to a new person. So what's the big deal? How come it took so long for me to remark on this? I follow both the official Leo Pets Facebook and Tumblr. However, those are managed by the previous team, the very dedicated moderators who managed those social media accounts for years, and they are no longer part of the Leo Pets moderation team. They don't know any more information about the new moderators or what the applications are looking for than the rest of us. They don't have any insight. So those accounts, the official Leo Pets Facebook and Tumblr, they will both be closed soon. So if you have anything on there that you want to archive, I recommend that you hit it and save all of those things. The new official sources for LeoPets information are the LeoPets.net homepage, and now embedded on that homepage is the Leo LeoPets Twitter page. There's only three tweets as of now, but I'm sure there'll be some more information about that later this week. Looking to the near future, applications will be open Tuesday, August 1st, and we have no idea, nothing to gauge by how long it'll take from application to response if you get into Leo Pets. The application model, uh, the different sites use different user management methods. I actually wanna make a video about this because I get comments all the time about people saying, oh man, I wanna play Dapper Volk right now. I hate it when sites do this. I'm never gonna play Dapper Volk now. When in reality, nobody can play Dapper Volk and there's all kinds of different ways to open registration and get new users through the door. There's open registration, which is like what Lydon has. There's closed registration, which is what Flight Rising has. There's referral-based registration. There's different testing waves of registration and then there's application methods. And these all serve very different purposes and sometimes they're used as kind of a marketing technique, but also they serve practical uses. Like if your server can't actually handle having that many users on your website at one time or the site's not ready yet, you guys get the picture. There's all kinds of reasons to have all different kinds of registration methods and LeoPets has historically used an application model. They've done this to control the talent level of the usership. Leo Pets is actively cultivating writers, artists, and designers for their community, and they are looking for active people who put effort into their accounts. This is just what Leo Pets has wanted up to this point. 
I'm going to apply because I've always really wanted a Leo Pets account and I never got around to doing it. And by the time I wanted to, it was too late. If you are interested in Leo Pets in any capacity, I totally recommend that you do this. My expectations is that I'm probably actually not going to get an account because of this YouTube channel, but that's not going to keep me from going out there and doing my best and, you know, writing a little essay for each response to try to get my foot in through the door. Like I said, this is on August 1st, so let me know if you guys apply, if you guys get in, if you have any questions. I'm really looking forward to Leo Pets.